Not a second or another minute, not an hour or another day, but at this moment with my arm outstretched, I need you to make a way as you've done so many times before, through a window or an open door, I stretch my hand to thee. Come rescue me, I need you right away, for I need you now, oh Lord, I need you now, I need you now, I need you now. Not a second or another minute, not an hour or another day, but Lord, but Lord, I need you right away. If I ever needed you before to show up and restore all the faith that I let slip. While I was yet searching the world for more The best friend I have indeed You're my best friend I know indeed I stretch my hands to thee Come rescue me I need you right away The act of being all alone The fear of doing things on my own The test and trials that come to make me strong The feelings of hurt, guilt, shame and defeat the weight of trials that beat upon me But to know, Lord But to know I've got the victory Oh, Lord I need you now Sweet Lord I need you now I need you now I need you now Not a second or another minute Not an hour or another day But Lord, but Lord, I need you I need you right away I need you right away. Would you find in your Bible, Matthew 15, the title of the message, it's been on the marquee longer than any message in our history. <laughs> it's been there for three weeks. You may have forgotten reading through this passage, back in January, uh, if you're reading through the Bible with us. Matthew 15, the title is Traditions Old and New. Traditions Old and New. Could we stand together for the reading of God's Word, if you are able? And we're going to consider the first nine verses of Matthew 15, and I'll ask you, 
to leave your Bibles open to that spot. We will come back to it again at the end of the message. Then the scribes and Pharisees who were from Jerusalem came to Jesus saying, Why do your disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat bread. And this does not refer to cleanliness. It refers to a ritual public pouring of water over and over their hands before they would eat one bite. He answered and said to them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God because of your tradition? For God commanded, saying, Honor your father and your mother. And he also said, He who curses father or mother, let him be put to death. But you say, whoever says to his father or mother, whatever profit you might have received from me is a gift to God. The word, literal word, is sacrifice to God. And verse 6 says, then he need not honor his father or mother. Thus you have made the commandment of God of no effect by your tradition. Hypocrites. Well did Isaiah prophesy, and then Jesus quotes from chapter 29 of Isaiah. Well did Isaiah prophesy about you, saying, These people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, and in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of God. Men. 